Back to a time when I was a wee little asshole. And I was with my daddy. And uh, we've seen some burgers. One of those gourmet burgers they have at the uh, butcher's counter of your local supermarket. Actually, I should say your faux fake butcher's counter at your local supermarket. If you want a, some fucking real meat, go to your goddamn real butcher's shop that just has meat. Anyway, I remember the selection of burgers they had. They had all kinds of burgers. Bacon cheddar, mushroom Swiss, jalapeno cheddar. But one, the one that caught my eye was the pepper burger. It was a burger cased in a ring of pepper. And I begged and pleaded with my daddy to buy these burgers, and he did. Brought them home, fired up the grill. He cooked them. I was still too little to do the grill myself. We bit into them, and we both looked at each other like we had just bitten the balls off of a goddamn buffalo. Because they suck. Why? Because most jackasses that make pepper burgers have a ring of pepper around the whole son of a bitch. So you get one insane bite of pepper Followed by several bites of fucking blandness. Now, I will show you how to make a real pepper burger. Okay, let's uh, start these pepper burgers off. Now, you want to add a generous amount of onion powder and a little bit of salt to these burgers. I do apologize for the autofocus fiasco I had with this. Normally it's clicked off, but this time I forgot to click it back on. And then the last thing you want to add for spices to these burgers is an absolute crap ton of pepper. You cannot add enough pepper. I mean, these are pepper burgers, right? So you want to taste the heat of freshly ground black pepper. So just pepper the shit out of them. Then you want to transfer them to a black iron pan and do the exact same thing to the other side. Little salt and a little onion powder and a whole shit ton of black pepper. These are pepper burgers after all. Then give them about three to five minutes aside and we'll be ready for the next step. Okay, through the miracle of cooking show editing, these burgers are done. One last thing to do, you wanna add a slice of Colby Jack cheese to these here burgers. And because we're using extra big slices, you might wanna rip them in half like I'm doing. That one burger is um, already too far gone. Not sure why they feel the need to have extra large pieces of cheese, but what the hell. All right, put the lid on and give them a minute and we'll be ready for the final step. Okay, little jerk of the camera there, and we are ready for the last step. You wanna take a bun that you buttered and toasted. The simplest way to toast a bun is to place the bread side down in a frying pan. Then you wanna take one of those patties Place it on the bottom bun, and you want to add some bacon, because bacon makes everything better. Then you want to grab the top bun, and for this one, I'm just going to go with a simple bit of horseradish mustard for the top of this. Now you can, of course, add pickles or lettuce or tomatoes or onions or any of the other fixings you want, but for this particular burger, I'm feeling in a mood that it's just going to be meat. So that's it. That is my peppered burger. Done. And that's Pepper Burgers. And all they really had to do was that. That's it. That's all. Really kind of fucking simple when you think about it. Anyway, the next time you want to impress friends and family with this, or to just become the king of the goddamn tailgating lot, try these out.